City Skylines 2's final patch of 2023 is here, so I'm going to be telling you everything that was included in this patch, and don't confuse my wording of saying it's the final patch ever, no, it's just the final patch of the year before the devs go on holiday. So what exactly did we get? So we got a big surprise. Two new maps of Sunshine Peninsula and Coral Riches are your two new maps to play with. Now let's get into the nitty gritty patch notes and let's start with performance. They've added LODs for characters and selected assets. They've optimized geometry layout for all the assets. They've also decreased virtual texturing pressure with assets that don't use emissive maps and disabled vSync for default settings as well as disabled volumetric lighting calculations where it's mostly invisible. As for gameplay, they've improved lane changing behavior for vehicles and fixed traffic accidents that last forever and improve resolution of the accidents and improve cargo air transport by increasing airplane cargo capacity from 50 tons to 100 tons. They've also increasing the airport cargo terminal capacity from 100 tons to 720 tons and added all the resource types to airplane outside connections and not allowing cargo ter terminals to store garbage resource. And there's some more storage fixes after the last patch that addressed this as well. They've improved storage buildings to consider both current storage and future storage to include cargo already on its way. They've also fixed cargo terminals import garbage and fixed the companies can buy the input resource from commercial companies. They've also fixed an export that can happen when the out Output resource amount is below zero and they've also fixed resource amount might become negative when transport vehicle loading in a large amount of resource negative amount reset to zero in existing saves. They've also fixed airport can import goods from road outside connections when there is no air cargo route. As for economy fixes and improvements they've replaced money buffering system with a new system that directly deducts the money. City's income should be more predictable now and they've also fixed income awarded twice an unknown profit due during storage transfer. They've also fixed pedestrian navigation issues with train station subway upgrade that requires the building to be rebuilt to take effect. They've also fixed the pedestrian walking through the air between elevated, lowered, raised or tunnel networks and buildings. They've also done a fix where the options search text can overlap with the delete symbol and they've fixed sometimes pathfinding for resources does not include cargo loading locations. They've also fixed saving and rebooting. The game gives extra XP based on the number of residential buildings in the city and for the four seasons a spider webbing achievement cannot be earned while well, it's now been fixed, as well as pressing M while in photo mode removes the UI permanently for that session. They've also added missing localization for photo mode an option menu. And finally, as for the graphics, they've added line color to passenger ships, cargo ships, and cargo train engines. They've improved the quality of character model variations. They fixed the visual glitches with metallic smooth burst maps on character clothes and fixed light props on Grand Bridge float in the air after connecting a road. They've also done a couple improvements to lights on forest machinery and propping for several buildings. And they've also fixed spawn point for cargo trucks is not inside the warehouse as expected. They've also fixed the international airport roads not being converted with left-hand traffic and they've also fixed crosswalk looks broken when pedestrian path bridge is connected to ground pedestrian path through a road. And that's it, that's everything that they change in the latest patch for City Skylines 2. That's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this type of video and like to see more like this one, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be continuing doing City Skylines 2 content for you when it arises and the next patch will be in 2024. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite bit of this new patch is. Is it a good patch? Is it a bad patch? And how are you finding the game since launch? Have you seen some significant improvements with all these patches coming in? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.